Hello, happy Rusev Day and welcome to another Pro Wrestling Dream Match featuring this man, Rusev. And it is of course Rusev Day, as it always is. So happy Rusev Day ladies and gentlemen. This match comes to you from the same Facebook post as always. But we are running low on matches from that post now. Um, so if you have a dream match you would like to see and it's possible on a wrestling game that allows for simulated matches let me know in the comments and I will definitely do that for you I think I believe this is Rusev's first appearance in the series but um, yeah this is definitely a good a good pick honestly um, and we're gonna get into the details of it but this one is comes to us courtesy of Dustin in the comment section of the post. And once again, I want to make it clear, none of these people that have come to these matches have done it for me. I've just found this post and be like, oh, you know what would be cool? To simulate a load of these matches. So I just want to give credit where it's due to the people who came up with it. But yeah, here's his opponent. If you can hear that music, there he is. And I think I should actually... Uh, Explain, because there's two Kurt Angles on this game, but it wasn't difficult to choose which Kurt to use. By the way, this is a WWE 2K20. Um, so not quite the newest game, but pretty recent. But yeah, um, so Dustin's comment says, When Rusev was doing the, the whole Russian bronze star thing, I was just waiting for Kurt to come back with his gold medals and kick Rusev's donkey. Now, I don't know what Rusev's donkey has done to, uh, to Dustin. But... Yeah, so that, that made it easy to pick current day Kurt Angle. Um, because, you know, that's the scenario that Dustin put it in. And also, I put this in the WrestleMania 32 arena because that's about the right era for Rusev. Really, it should have been WrestleMania 31, but that arena isn't on this game. So, you get what you get. And we're going to do um, Rusev versus Kurt Angle. So uh, let's see how this one plays out. It's a very interesting one. This is more of a uh, gimmick clash dream match than an in ring. A lot of them so far have been chosen for their in ring acumen. But a few have been sort of either gimmick or similarity based. But this one's definitely sort of like a clash of the gimmicks the all American hero versus the evil foreigner who turns up to WrestleMania in a tank. Speaking of evil foreigners in a tank. Rusev taking it to Angle in the early stages of this match, but Angle very quick on his feet. And there's a German suplex. That's vintage Kurt Angle. You love to see it. Oh, Rusev blocks the right hand though and hits Angle in the midsection. Then just runs through the Olympic gold medalist. Now elbowing onto the traps of Kurt Angle, which is the traps provide a lot of support for that neck. And we all know about Kurt Angle's neck issues, right? So, maybe not a bad strategy there by Rusev. Not directly going after the neck just yet, but uh, certainly working around the neck. Now, as Rusev got in mind here. Oh, throws Kurt Angle midsection first across that top rope with a suplex. And then went for a very athletic spinning kick, but Kurt Angle managed to dodge it. And that might be a good thing for Angle, because uh, that could have finished him. There's a lot of force in those kicks with all of Rusev's incredibly stocky, muscular body weight put into it. Um, Kurt Angle, by the way, did you notice punched Rusev and just kind of bounced off him and was a little bit stunned. And because of that, Rusev has managed to take advantage of the situation. And what a top rope superplex by Rusev. Throwing Angle two-thirds of the way across the ring at the very least. Now Rusev's got Angle up. Angle does not look like he's in a good place here. And that's a follow-away slam. Angle knew that was coming, couldn't do anything about it. You could see the fear in his eyes. Like, uh oh, this is going to hurt. And again, he dodges that spinning kick. And it's probably for the best because there's so much force in that. So much momentum. DDT by Angle. Drops Rusev right on his head. And now a punt kick kind of into the kidneys there. And now look at this Angle. Just trying to keep the Bulgarian brute down with the ground and pound. Now this Angle got in mind here. Going after the arm. Trying to take away some of the strength game of Rusev. Elbow to the back of the straightened elbow. Bent elbow, beat straight and elbow in a fight every time. Oh, Angle. Using his uh, amateur wrestling credentials, of which there are many, to take Rusev down to the mat. 
Unfortunately, the one thing amateur wrestling techniques don't do, they do take your opponent down, but if you don't follow them up, they don't really hurt as such. And Rusev was able to get back on offense as quickly as possible. Maybe they hurt a little bit, maybe that's unfair, but they don't hurt as much as being like punched full force in the face or kicked like that. Third time's a charm for Rusev. Or, you know, being picked up above someone's head and then slammed down onto your back. Like, that hurts more, shall we say. Falling headbutt by Rusev. And he has been, I would say, getting the lion's share of the offense in this one. He's been in control for the majority of this match, in my opinion. Snapmare takeover. He's just relentlessly... And now he goes after the neck. Look at this neck crank. We all know about Angle's history of neck problems dating all the way back to 1996, if not before. And Rusev having no mercy, wanting to claim one hell of a scalp for his uh, repertoire, for his uh, CV, for his resume, that's the word I want, not repertoire. Russian leg sweep, sort of ironically, for, uh, by Kurt Angle there. I know Rusev's Bulgarian, but he was representing Russia for quite a while in his WWE run, so quite, quite funny that Kurt went for a Russian leg sweep. But now this fight has been taken to the outside. And, oh, Rusev runs through Kurt Angle with a clothesline on the outside there. It's a dangerous position to be in if you're Kurt Angle right now. Rusev's a dangerous man. There's not a lot of padding out there. And Kurt Angle fighting back into this. Trying to take Rusev down on the outside. Rusev having none of that. Oh, it just runs through Angle and Angle hits hard. Now going after that, tra that trap again, that trapezius muscle. Maybe trying to pinch the nerve that runs along it. Referees counts up to seven. We don't want a double count over here. That would be very dissatisfying, guys. There you go. Rusev is, is paying attention and rolls Kurt Angle into the ring. At the count of seven. Yeah, we don't want a double count out on team matches, do we? Oh! Match Kurt kick by Rusev to the back of the head. And not only does that hurt the back of your head and potentially knock you out, think of the strain that puts on your neck, the whiplash effect. He thinks he's done enough to put Kurt away here, and I might agree, you know. No, Kurt Angle disagrees. Kicks out at two. Rusev can't believe it, but after regathering his thoughts, he's going to continue the offense, and oh no. I've, the accolade, I was going to say I've forgotten the name of this, but that's the accolade, and Kurt Angle has no choice but to submit to the Bulgarian brute. And Rusev picks up an impressive victory over Kurt Angle. Leave a like if you enjoyed this match. Subscribe if you're new here and share with your friends if you think they would enjoy. Let me know in the comments what dream matches you'd like to see as well. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I'll see you next time.